Hello guys, uh, so the rumors are Chris Algieri might end up facing uh, Errol Spence on uh, 16th of April, April, just a couple months away at uh, Barclays Center, New York. You know, I personally want to see that fight. I want to see how good uh, Errol Spence is because he hasn't fought anyone of a name at the moment, whereas Chris Algieri is a decent guy. He's not good. Uh, not, uh, he hasn't got a good power, but you know he fought some good names in uh, Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was one-sided fight. You know <laughs> I wanna let me, let me tell you that you know it was a one-sided fight. Manny Pacquiao took took his ass to school. I mean the six knock knockdowns. I guess there were six or five or six knockdowns and. You know, but the thing is, Chris Algieri got a decent chin. You know, that just proves he can take punches and he can come back. Even though he lost the fight by by unanimous decision, but you know, at least he he didn't get knocked out like uh, most fighters do. You know, so I believe it's gonna be a great fight. You know, whereas his fight with Amir Khan, that was a close fight, man. You know, I think nobody expected. Uh, Chris Algeria to give Amir Khan a tough fight, you know, because you know, the thing is, the thing was, you know, Amir Khan trained good, you know, that's one thing for sure. He trained hard for Chris Algeria, but he didn't know what was coming. I mean, Chris Algeria just changed his whole style and he was so aggressive in the fight, you know. Amir Khan, uh, even though I'm a big Amir Khan fan, but he was back paddling for the most of the fight. You know, but he landed some good shots. I think Amir Khan won that fight. People thought it was a close fight, but I think Amir Khan won that fight by two rounds. So I give him that. You know, I'm not a dick rider. You know, let's get one thing straight. It was a close fight, you know. But Amir Khan won the fight, you know, by two rounds. In my opinion, that's how I saw the fight, you know. Chris Algieri, he has a decent resume. In, uh, he, fought, he had total 23 fights. And he he only lost two, so he won 21. And he, he's like I say, he's not a big puncher, so he only he only he's not a big puncher. Whereas Arrow Spins is an undefeated prospect, and many people says he's gonna be a huge name in the in the coming years. You know, so Chris he had uh, like 19 fights, he won them all, and he has a good knockout ratio. Less, you know. And 16 wins came by a knockout. So out of 19, 16 came by a knockout. So that just shows he can punch. So, um, you know, but you know, the thing is, Chris Algieri is more experienced. He's fought the best. He fought two, you know, good names. Rosalind Provodnika, he got Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao. So he knows what it's like to be in, a, you know, big fights. Whereas Arrow Spins, he's, that's going to be a step up for him if, if he wins, if the fight get made. You know, let's get one thing straight because, uh, you know, there's rumors. It's just a rumor. But I personally, I, I think it's the, this fight will be on. I think so because, I, you know, I've, I just think. Because I think that that's a good fight for both of them. If Arrow Spins wins, he's going to be mandatory to... Calbrook IBF Whoever wins is gonna be a great fight. Whoever wins is gonna be mandatory for uh, the IBF Calbrook has so finally we can see Calbrook Actually fighting some one of the good names You know, I wish them all the best. I hope the fight get made because it, this fight is gonna bring Excitement and this fight will show how good Arrow Spence is you know, he uh, spins has a good chin. He's got a good punch as well. So, you know, it's going to be a great fight. I hope that this fight get made because that will tell you where the both fighter stands, how good Chris Algieri is because Errol Spins is no joke. I watched his recent fight. He was very good, you know, and uh, I hope the fight get made. Let me know, guys, what you think. Comment, subscribe. Peace.